Welcome back to Lifestyle. You know, we're all about the home, decorating, entertaining, organizing, and accessorizing. And it's so important during the holidays to be organized and also to beautify the home and have a place for everything and my next guest teaches me something every time she is on the show i'm so excited that amanda dunsing of the simplest group welcome back amanda thank you for having me back to your wonderful show well i always enjoy you bring to the table such beautiful accessories but what i like about it is it's also very organized now before we get into all of this and we're going to talk about eco-friendly gift wrap tell me what is the symbolist group and I know that people don't get it in touch with you directly but they see your products all the time and they're certainly in all of the companies here local tell me about that yes so I am um, with the symbolist group and we're a showroom out of the Atlanta gift mart we represent 30 different lines and we are really kind of a lifestyle package so things that we love like everything from Bath and Body products and candles to home accessories and children's items and coffee table books um, so we're just the full package okay. and we are wholesale um, so we sell to local stores mm -hmm. and I always like to say shop local shop local <laughs> yes in fact we were just talking to Linda Berry at Bella Linia. she was just here and she was showing us a chart about local shopping and when you shop local then your dollars are going into your local economy however if you're if you're ordering online then you're not you're not uh, contributing to the local uh, economy so it's really important in your products uh, they can be seen in so many in fact Bella Linia carries some of them that we can name some of them if you want to but um, what we want to do today is we're talking about eco-friendly gift wrap tell me what that is I think we have an image and then you're going to show us some great ideas tell yes. us about this so this is making the gift wrap part of the gift so this is a, a present that's wrapped in a scarf and you didn't have to use any paper or tape or any supplies um, so that's why it's eco-friendly you're not throwing anything away the wrapping is the gift so the wrapping and then but then you have something in the gift and exactly. you've got some examples yes. of this you're going to show us so as well we can open some presents yay um, <laughs> it's time to open presents on the lifestyle show so this is a dish towel and i just wrapped it really simply with twine you could definitely dress it up with really pretty ribbon put an ornament on this there are a lot of things that you could do um, and then inside whoops inside of this um, so it's a, a kitchen theme so we have a kitchen dish towel which is a beautiful dish towel too by the way Ooh. and then a beautiful book on baking oh handmade baking. so it's all kitchen based uh-huh so uh -huh. this would be for your friend who loves to bake and is in the kitchen and will be using her dish towel oh I love that <laughs> that's a great idea so you don't really have to go out and buy gift wrap you can make the outside of it whatever you it, and so right. you've shown us a scarf and yes. now we've got a towel and, and what have we got here so that is another scarf and we'll open this present and this one is also a theme so it's for the fashionista so a lady who would love a scarf uh -huh. and also this wonderful book on Kate Spade oh. it's a brand new book that just came out oh, so this is for the to go and people to see that's right so really fun new book on fashion oh let's show that one more time <laughs> so that people can see with the scarf because well, these are great ideas Amanda I like oh, that you. you've used scarves uh, and then let's place that with it because like you said kind of creating the theme so we've got a nice green scarf and then we've got this new Kate Spade book um, and then so what you're saying is making it kind of a theme so whatever it is that you wrap it in make it part of the theme that's a great yes. idea these are really Thank good ideas you. and it's not just for Christmas um, this is one of my favorite for a baby shower um, so you have this okay little now show everybody uh, <laughs> turn it up so that everybody can see it before you unwrap it Oh, little foxes. What does the fox say? <laughs> <laughs> and then let's see what's inside. So you could take this to a shower, and so it's all—it's already in a box. You could just tie a ribbon onto the 
box. And I have a little girl, and what I love about boxes like this is with children, you have boy or girl, lots of little things, and just to have storage, mm -hmm. um, little Legos or Barbie dolls. Um, so this is something that they'll use way beyond the baby being a little baby. So we have a little elephant. Oh, he is so cute. Some little clothes and a blanket. But they'll keep this box and use it to store all those little things. Oh, I love this little guy right here. He is so cute. <laughs> can oh my top. goodness, look at him. He's, I like that feel of that. <laughs> he's so oh, soft. He's gonna come over here and sit with me. <laughs> you just sit right here with me for the rest of the show, little fella. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Well, that's a yes. great idea. So basically, and think about how much time you would save in gift wrap. Oh, gift yes. wrapping can take so long. Yes, and I feel like we always run out of tape or the paper isn't the right size. There's always something that happens. Or it's not the right theme because right. now you've got a bright fuchsia, but you know that they sent out the you know, invitations and it should be for a baby boy. So I yes. like this idea. These are great ideas of how you can be eco-friendly and you can wrap up your gift so make the gift wrap just put that notation in your head right now make the gift wrap part of the gift i that's love that right. that's a fantastic <laughs> idea well one of the things too that we talk about is serving or entertaining because this is the time of year when a lot of us will be having holiday parties or little get-togethers inviting friends over so let's talk about that we've got some images that we want to show okay. about that as well that sounds great. So this is an example of trays, um, and they're not on a traditional surface. Um, they are, it's kind of a picnic, and so you need a flat surface. So they used multiple trays to arrange everything. And here we are with, um, by the fireside, you might not necessarily have a little table sitting there, um, so you have a great way to serve your wine. Um, there's also a little tea tray, so it's nice to be able to transport it, but also to keep everything in one spot and to create almost like your own table. And I would think that um, cleanup would be pretty easy yes. too because you set everything on the tray and then if something spills or you have sugar on the bottom of it, that's going to make it a lot easier too. Now this is sort of your, this is uh, kind of harnessing your your husband's clutter, yes. I would say. So I feel like most men, they come home and they have change in their pocket and they throw it down somewhere in their keys and their <laughs> wallet and their phone. And I think this is great to have in an entryway or um, just somewhere not on a table where the man, that's where his stuff goes and it keeps it all corralled in and there's no, honey, have you seen my keys? Have you seen my phone? It's right there. You've got, it's like, honey, here's your tray. <laughs> <laughs> and this is an example of um, just kind of keeping your toiletries um, all together. Yes. It, it looks like a man's uh, shaving kit. Yes. And I'm sorry, I couldn't see that picture that well. This is, um, I think men are starting to use nice products. It's a great gift to give to men, um, men's toiletries, and they look nice sitting out, but you don't want them just spread out all over the counter. So it looks nice to have them all corralled in in one spot, and then they can display their fine products. I like that, and for women too, yes, how elegant is it to display all of your perfumes? Yes, and your jewelry, a candle, some flowers, it looks nice all together organized like that. And of course, <laughs> let's don't forget about Santa. That's right. And this could be great for, once again, it, this picture is showing it on top of a bed, but if you want to have some hot cocoa and you don't want to have a big mess, this is a nice flat surface to be able to put your cocoa down and not spill it, um, and to be able to serve it and then take it away easily. It's an easy cleanup, but it also, uh, the way that you've organized everything on a tray it sort of compartmentalizes a little bit. So uh, this is your specific tray for your husband when he comes in, and then here's a tray to, and it adds a lot of decorativeness, uh, but also organization, and I yes. really like that. And it keeps, um, like you said, the cleanup would be so easy. I mean, you, you serve it on a tray, you can sit it back on the tray, you can carry it away into another room, because a lot of times we're not 
um, entertaining in the kitchen. That's We're right. entertaining in the living room or, you know, on a porch or yes. other rooms in the house. So a tray um, really makes it easy to carry things from room to room. Yes, a lot of people have the soft ottomans and it's nice to be able to have a flat surface if you're bringing your tea and or your wine and cheese, your milk and cookies to have this flat surface um, and you don't need a coaster. A lot of people have delicate surfaces that you don't want to just put a wine glass or something hot on top of so the tray will also protect your surface as well. Oh that's a great tip because you don't think about that if people are taking things into the living room space yes. uh, or if you have something like hot chocolate it can damage an ottoman or something but if you have a tray that gives your guests somewhere to put this a lot of times you're having conversations mm -hmm. so you, you're not thinking about you know uh, how am I going to you know where am I going to sit my drink. Yes. Now tell us about what you brought here. So this is another um, eco-friendly gift idea where this is a, a plant cover and it's actually lined in plastic so you can water this plant and if the water comes through it's totally fine. Um, oh, and so safe. afterwards this can pop out okay, and you can fill it with ice and it can be reused as your champagne ice bucket. Oh, so I don't I have like any that. ice but it it actually looks really nice and keeps it really chilled. Oh, I like um, that. So that's what that is. And these are all products that we can buy locally because yes. you sell to all of the local companies um, that, that that carry these products. I mean, can you think of any of the companies that ca are carrying this right now? Because that's a great idea to you give know, away. A lot of garden centers love oh, these. The I know um, uh -huh. Cheekwood has some of these okay. in their gift shop right now. Mm -hmm. um, so check out your garden centers and gift stores mm -hmm. and Cheekwood and um, my information will be up at the end and you can always email me okay. and I can ask, I can find out who has it. Great, <laughs> great. Well, I think we have a few more images. Is that right that we were going to show? Yeah, yes. um, these are actually pi pictures. So what do we do with the pictures? So a lot of times brides will register for a picture or if you're going to give a hostess gift, um, it's nice to bring flowers that they can go ahead and set out and have on display. So that's just an idea if you're giving a picture to fill it with flowers. Don't put it in a box. Um, just bring it right in filled with flowers and maybe tie a bow and you're set. That's a great idea. And you've got one here I have too. a little bitty one and I just filled it with some flowers. Um, no, and that's then. a really big key you've got on the, yes. let's turn it this way so everybody can see the key. That is so cute. So you just tied that on. I tied this on and this actually would be great mm -hmm. on a wine bottle. Um, it is actually a corkscrew. So you oh. can twist that off and it's a corkscrew. Oh, how, that's a great idea. But I was just thinking hostess or bridal, that would be, if you're giving the picture, you could tie something on because they have the nice little loop and it's easy to make a little, a, to tie something on. Yeah, I really like that and I really like this key. It's a nice big mm -hmm. key. So, and now you've got the handmade book there. Were you, were you gonna show us something with that yeah, book? Yes, so this one was wrapped in the um, the dish towel and that just w is really fun. But what I was also going to show is how um, a lot of people will use trays on the coffee table right. to put their coffee table books on. Mm -hmm. um, you could stack up a couple of books, put a candle and then your remotes and everything is organized and not thrown about and a lot of times people want to hide the remotes but they don't look so bad if you have a place for them. Oh if you have a, a tray. pretty tray like this yes. then it doesn't look so bad and I will tell you they are hard to find sometimes because we were looking for one of our remotes the other day <laughs> and if you hide them, I tend to want to hide them. I yes. want to put them in a cabinet somewhere and hide them but if you put them on the tray okay Jackie I'll get a tray <laughs> and we'll put them on the tray. That's a great <laughs> idea. So we have talked about eco-friendly making sure that the uh, wrap the the outside is the same as the gift so making the gift wrap part of the gift that's right and then also trays 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 to keep your I love how you said at least twice to keep your <laughs> husband corralled <laughs> you've given us some great ideas thank you so much Amanda thank you Denise well and you know this one of the things I do whenever I'm designing a home the very last thing is I place flowers uh, every time I leave a home there are always flowers whether they're potted flowers or beautiful 
beautiful flowers. These are from Ilex for Flowers, and you know, this is the time of year you need to go ahead and give them a call. You need to place one of these on your Thanksgiving table. You can contact them at 736 5200. And coming up next, I'm going to share with you an idea that you can use for your Thanksgiving table, and it will cost you about $10. That's all coming up right after the break.